Welcome back everybody, this is Eric here, Guitar Arsenal. We're going to be talking about wah pedals, and not really the differences between wah pedals, but just the technique of using a wah pedal in general, because, I mean, there's, there's tons of different things all over the internet where people talk about the use of a wah pedal, and I think a lot of people tend to get really confused about, you know, their use, and some people can't really get the, the whole, like, I guess, uh, hand and foot coordination together. Um, a wah pedal basically takes treble in and out of your signal, in much in the same way that your, uh, your tone pot does on your guitar. And really, in my opinion, wah pedals sound the best with a single coil pickup guitar like a Stratocaster or a Tele. Uh, now people use them on uh, humbucking pickups as well, and they certainly do uh, sound good there, but I think they have a certain quackiness uh, that you get out of, a, uh, out of a single coil pickup that you just don't get out of a humbucking pickup, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But that's not really what, the, we're not here to argue semantics about what, what pickups are better for wah pedals, but I want to just discuss the technique and use of a wah pedal. If you take a Stratocaster, right now the wah, the wah pedal is disengaged. I've just got a little compressor going and a Nobles ODRS uh, overdrive. I'm running into a Mesa Boogie Mark V, and this is a Fender Standard Strat uh, with a rosewood neck uh, and slab, you know, it's not a slab, but basically rosewood neck. Um, I want to demonstrate something here. If I take this tone right here and I roll it all out, all right, I'm, not, I'm adding the brightness back in. All right, there's there's all out on the uh, on the tone pot. All right. All right, all the way out. It makes it sort of like muddy sounding. All right. Right? So see, you know, you get that kind of nasally, you know, bottomed out tone sound. If I take the difference between those two, of the tone rolled out all the way, and I go to the bridge pickup, the treble pickup, I've got the tone all the way up. All right, I'm going to increase my volume. That gives us a sound that sounds something like this. Right? If I take that tone all the way out, just like I did on the, uh, on the neck pickup, it gives it a sound kind of like this. Alright, whatever. So, what if we take the tone knob and open it up all the way on the treble pickup, and we take the tone knob and close it all the way, and, and you know, make it nice and nasally sounding on the neck pickup. When I move this pickup selector back and forth, It'll give it a really distinct sound. It's going to sound a lot like a wah pedal. And I swear this is getting somewhere. Bear with me. All right. It sounds something kind of like this. And the thing is, it's difficult to do. And that's really why wah pedals are sort of a thing. Because it makes what the sound I'm about to make makes it a lot easier with the wah pedal. All right. So listen to this. If I take a chord, let's just say, I don't know, whatever. See, I'll just kick the hat right off. That's, see, that's why. See how I tried to flick that down? Let's see if I can do it. Hear that sound, that sweep of frequency range? It's really hard to, to do, you know, because you're going to literally, like, I just smack my, my top hat off of my uh, selector. That's okay. We'll leave it off. So now what we'll do is just we'll use a wah-wah pedal. And what the wah pedal does, if you just listen to the sound that's coming through the amp right now, I had to kind of stomp on it to engage it because the switches are usually kind of crazy. But you notice wah pedal disengaged, tone rolled all the way out. It's sort of a... Hear that? The wah pedal engaged. All right, that's with the wah pedal. All right, without the wah pedal. All 
All right, that's with the guitar. Tone roll back in. Now with the wah pedal. See why a wah pedal is useful? Because I'm not having to like knock the top hat off of my pickup selector, trying to flick around the pickup selector. If you're making big, heavy strums way across the, the, the face of the Strat, especially a Strat because of where the actual pickup selector is located, yeah, you can kind of like get some of those crazy wah sounds, but the thing is, the wah pedal makes it a lot easier. So we'll go over um, some wah techniques. Basically, when the heel is depressed, it removes the treble. When it's pushed down, it adds a treble back in. You can hear it coming through the amp. Listen. You hear that? So you can kind of like tap your foot with the rhythm of the music and you can sort of add that that kind of classic uh, that wah sound like so so if I uh, wanted to get that kind of like you listen to Isaac Hayes and you listen to the theme from Shaft right and you hear that <laughs> A wah pedal is a very percussive instrument because it really adds that kind of just slappy sound to single coils and gives it a very, very distinct type of sound. If you listen to Hendrix or if you listen to any of the, uh, the, the great guitarists that have used wah pedals over the years, they really can add a lot of flexibility to what you're doing. It's one of those things that they can be overused a little bit, but if you're playing like funk music or rhythm and blues or any, you know, rock, classic rock, anything, you're going to hear wah pedals in, in this type of music. And, uh, and they also kind of have a different sort of effect too. They don't always have to be used for that kind of just crazy nasally uh, passing kind of sound. You can also use wah pedals um, to get the kind of sounds such as, uh, let's see if I can demonstrate something for you. So like if I were to uh, take a, I don't know, if I want to take a... You can add like a little bit of that kind of wah-wah effect in, into a rhythm. Um, or you can take a chord and kind of let it ring and get sort of a... Kind of wah-wah effect. Personally, I, I think it's cool for like just kind of blues rock and and getting in you know some of those kind of crazy things. If I uh, take a take something, go like. <laughs> You notice I'm kind of just like tapping my foot. So whatever the rhythm is on a wah pedal, if you just sort of just bump your foot along with the rhythm, I guess the point of this video is I'm trying to teach people wah techniques and a lot of the greats like Steve Ray Vaughan and Hendrix would also do this kind of wobbling effect with the wah pedal to get those just really crazy kind of swirly sounds. And uh, I'll try to demonstrate that for you here. Uh, that they would get kind of like almost like a... That's one technique that they would use a lot is take a lot of those three string bends and they would really um, just... And in certain phases of their playing, they would get that nice kind of... You know, and it just really gives it that kind of just quacky, crazy sound. So you can kind of like really 
oscillate the pedal back and forth with your foot really quick to get those kind of silly sounds like that. And they do have some very musical sounding aspects to them, especially when an amplifier is really loud and you're just getting crazy sounds coming out of the amp. And uh, it just blows people's minds, hopefully in a good way, when you do that sort of stuff. Um, but me personally, when it comes to Waz, I primarily use them for like the kind of blues rock and Hendrix type stuff. You know. Anyway, that's kind of sloppy, but maybe you get the point there. Um, I, I hope the point's well demonstrated. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know about the, the extreme changes in sound that you get between these pickup selections. Now, I don't have a pickup selector anymore. I'm going to have to glue that sucker back on there. But you get the point that the, the throw of tones between the extreme of the lowest end of the tone from the neck pickup to the trebly, trebliest sound, if that's a word, of the, neck, or the bridge pickup, you're getting uh, this just crazy wide range. Again, I'll demonstrate it. You know, if you take an... I can't really do it because the, the, the top hat's not on there. I don't want to cut my finger open uh, on this selector, but you get the point. Um, those sounds are neat, and Waz really allow you to kind of capture those uh, subtle sort of nuances uh, in this, in, in particularly, my opinion, the Stratocaster is really the best guitar for wild use if you're trying to replicate that type of tone. Um, there are other types of wah circuits that are out there that I don't have to demonstrate for you. Um, there are some wah circuits that people will put on Les Pauls and other guitars that would actually use a knob on the guitar to control the wah. And to some degree, you know, you really can get um, some of those swells. I'm not really good at doing them, but some people can take their, uh, you know, some people have huge hands and they can really reach that area. Uh, you know, they can, you know, they can really roll that tone knob with their pinky and get those kind of crazy swells. And they'll also do the same thing on the, on the volume pot to get those kind of swells. That's getting into a different video but that's where volume pedals come into play. You're controlling the volume swells with your foot instead of trying to use your pinky. And in my opinion, it kind of gets in the way of like you're playing. Now some people are really good at it, great, that's cool. If you're good at it, wonderful. It's always good to have in the bag of tricks uh, to, to pull out if you need to. But that's wall pedals in a nutshell. Um, Jeffrey Teese makes a bunch of different versions of these wall pedals. And this one is voiced uh, in a certain way. They come in a wide variety of different voicings. Like he used to make a uh, thing called the Real McCoy and like the Picture Wah and the uh, different RMC uh, versions of this Wah pedal. Some of them use like old school uh, Vox components. Some of them use, you know, new old stock uh, components. But this particular Wah is a nice evenly voiced Wah. Uh, some Wah pedals will definitely have some different voicing settings. There's Wah pedals out now that have um, a variety of different like fuzz and things you can add in. Some of them have pitch shifters. Uh, some of them have some very extreme range of <laughs> frequency range that they fall into. Uh, this wah pedal is more of a sort of vintage style wah, which is kind of my style of music and what I like to use. But just know that if you're watching this video and you don't know anything about wahs and you learn what you know about wahs here, know that you're not confined to just this type of sound. There are many other wah pedals out there and they also fall into a lot of different price ranges. So. We'll be having a look at some of those particular wah pedals. But anyway, we hope you learned something. And uh, that's my take on wah pedals. Take it for what it is. I like them. I think they're neat. And uh, they're definitely uh, crucial to the bag of tricks for any guitarist. So. <laughs> You 
get the point. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Stay tuned. Subscribe for more. More on the way. Thanks. <laughs>